this is Adam Wolf, physical therapist. Today I wanted to share with you uh, integrated stretch and movement that I like to use, uh, incorporating the anterior flexibility high wave. That is the anterior portion of the body. The reality is the body doesn't know what a muscle is. That's a man-made construct. The body knows what motion is and how to control that motion. And so that anterior flexibility highway runs into, up the entire front side of the body, starting at our toe extensors, through the dorsiflexors, up into the quadricep, the anterior tissue, the front butt as Gary Gray would call it, into the abdominals, up into the pecs and neck flexors. And together, they create flexion moments in isolation, except at the knee. Okay? And then they control and integration extension moments except at the knee. And so we could take advantage of these principles. I haven't found anyone in our sedentary society that we live in that has too much motion in the anterior chain of their body. Typically, we all sit and we're in this positions and things become chronically short and tight on the front of our body. And so the ability to lengthen that entire chain together I found to be really powerful. There's a number of different strategies we can do that through and I like to take people through a progression of movement from very static through very dynamic just a simple one that I'll give to people uh, I have them fixed down about shoulder width apart toe straight ahead I'm gonna have to take a step forward with one foot and I like to have them toe in that back foot now we've got some length through the front of the body here from the side you can see what that looks like from here I like to take my hands up overhead and I don't like to reach back so much as I like to think about somebody getting pulled up and over the top so when I'm teaching this I will come in grab my hands, to grab their hands and sort of give them that sensation of getting long to the ceiling and then have them drive their knee forward as they do that, take them up over the top and we're getting that entire length of tissue in the front of the body. We could start to add some drives of the knee or of the hand into this. What we don't want is closing angle pain and what I mean by that is, is pain on the back of the body. If we think about this as the opening angle, this is closing. So if I feel crunch in my back when I'm in these positions, I start thinking maybe I'm not getting through my hips very well or maybe I need to work on some extension in other parts of my spine probably above it because I shouldn't have a ton of pain in my low back. Okay? This motion can be regressed quite easily. I like to do a kneeling lunge and if I, uh, I'll do it up against a wall or, a, or a, a, against a couch and so up against the wall I call it the ninja death stretch but up against the couch, it's known as the couch stretch. So pretend that this is the couch here, and I take the commercial comes on, I'm gonna take the pillow and put it on the ground. I like to get into this position right here, where I'm tucked in long. I have a cage, so I like to sort of get long and pull, but at home, you know, they're having their hand on a, uh, their coffee table or something where they feel stable, and they can drive and lengthen that entire combination of tissue together. I can drive my hips, I can drive my hips side to side with my hand, and I'm still creating this length on the front of the body, okay? Progressions include lunges, right? I can do an anterior lunge, and that lengthens the entire body. I could do a posterior uh, lunge, or an uh, anterior lunge with an opposite foot step back and reach up overhead, and that again lengthens the body. I could take a five pound dumbbell and put it in my hand and start to go through some of these motions, and that takes you from a static position start to load it to an entire dynamic movement through the spectrum of movement is what I look at. So this for me is a really good one. Again, for me the test is the exercise and the exercise is the test. Gary Gray really hits that home. And so any of these motions that we just did, I can look to see how the body is able to do it one side to the other. And if there's a difference one side to the other, that's in my opinion when we need to dig a little deeper and find out why there might be that asymmetry. And so again, I, I uh, check this one out, it's a go-to for me. Uh, let's have some discussion around this, that anterior flexibility highway. We've also, I forgot to mention, we have the other flexibility highways is the lateral flexibility highway, the posterior flexibility highway, and the anterior and posterior X. We're doing a, a few minute uh, video on each one of these, so be sure to check out the remaining exercises and movements at a later date. Thanks.